Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson, out with the wild things. The sleek, long-tailed, six-lined race runner is a native Florida lizard that lives up to its name. It's fast, reaching speeds of perhaps 18 miles per hour in short sprints. In keeping with its name, it is adorned with racing stripes, six of them, three on each side of its back, extending from behind its head to the base of its rough-scaled gray-brown tail. Its stripes are white to yellow to pale blue or green. The tiny scales covering a race runner's back aren't much bigger than grains of sand on which it runs, giving it a somewhat silky but not shiny appearance. Large gray-brown scales protect its head right down to its pointed nose. The six-lined race runner is a lover of sunlight, open places, and dry sandy soils. It is a terrestrial creature, rarely climbing a few inches into vegetation. When danger, gray skies, or night approaches, it retreats to a shallow burrow hidden in vegetation or under a rock or other object. The six-lined race runner is a lizard found through much of the eastern United States and south into parts of Mexico. It has close relatives in western North America and into South America. As a group, these lizards are often called whip tails because of their slender tail, a tail that is much longer than the rest of its body. Other colloquial names for this race runner include Field Streak, a reference to its speed, and Sand Lapper, a reference to its favored open sandy habitats. All are fast and stay mostly at ground level as they race around in search of food. If habitats change, becoming more moist or covered with dense vegetation, race runner populations disappear. If wetlands are drained, leaving sandy soil and open areas behind, new populations can become established. Six-lined race runners in Florida are often found adjacent to roads and in our yards, adjacent to sidewalks and patios. They come out onto warm concrete and rock to sun and readily run into mowed areas to capture insects, but also need nearby shelter in which to retreat from potential predators and bad weather. Male six-lined race runners have large gray to light blue or light green belly scales. Females have creamy white to pinkish belly scales. Adult male race runners have a broader head than that of females, and females have a heavier body needed for development of her eggs. Courtship begins in spring and includes the male standing tall on his front legs, displaying his light blue to light green throat and chest. He also sometimes performs repeated ritual figure eight movements in front of her, leaving a scent trail as an enticement to mate. If she's interested in him, the male grabs her by loose skin on the back of her neck, wraps his tail around her, and they mate. About five weeks later, the female lays her one to six elongate, small, jelly bean-like white eggs in a shallow burrow. They hatch in about two months, and the young are on their own. A newly hatched young has a body only a little over an inch long and a much longer tail. It has bright yellow stripes and, unlike the adult, a hatchling's tail is light blue. Many kinds of lizards defend a territory and use a sit and wait strategy for catching passing insects or other prey. Not so the six-lined race runner. This is a species that doesn't defend a territory and wanders over a large area actively searching for food. Six-lined race runners feed extensively on termites, leafhoppers, ants, beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, and spiders. Because they climb very little, most of their prey is normally found at or near ground level. Of necessity, young feed on smaller prey, but adults can feed on prey as large as some cockroaches, grasshoppers, crickets, and caterpillars. A race runner swallows its prey whole, but often mouths it a bit, altering its shape, thus making it easier to swallow. Race runners depend on speed to capture their prey as they crisscross available habitat. While larger prey may provide more energy, a race runner is opportunistic, taking food of any size as it is encountered. Race runner adults are most active in late spring and early summer. Young hatch in mid to late summer at a time when small larval insects and young spiders are abundant, allowing young race runners to grow rapidly and store fat for cooler winter weather. The sleek six-lined race runners are lizards that have benefited from many habitat alterations that we have made. They prefer open areas, sandy soil, and even like sidewalks and patios where they bask and hunt in the sun. 
so long as there are low, dense shrubs or patches of other dense vegetation where they can excavate a burrow or find a similar recess in which to hide. Six-lined race runners thrive during our warmest weather and at times can have a body temperature in excess of 100 degrees. On cool, rainy, or even cloudy days, however, they generally stay in their burrow. As animals of open habitats that are restricted to ground level, six-lined race runners have many potential predators. Many are caught in their burrows by snakes such as the black racer. The imported fire ant is a major threat to them. So too are feral cats. But the six-lined race runner is a master escape artist. It can run up to 18 miles per hour and can stop abruptly and change directions, foiling even many predatory birds. With the Wild Things is produced at the Whitaker Center and the College of Arts and Sciences at Florida Gulf Coast University. For the Wild Things, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson.